Hello, my beautiful bugs. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooke. I am a fashion lover, a makeup lover, and a proud mother to a sophisticated cat named Snoop. We're gonna do some makeup today. We're going to do a traditional Brooke makeup tutorial. And today I'm teaching you this sewn up emo look, I guess. I don't know, I'm an emo girl. An emo girl. This wasn't the plan in my head, but this is what came out. And I really like it, so hopefully you guys like it too. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I know it's been a little minute since we've done a makeup tutorial, but you should know by now, this step should be firstly engraved into your brain moisturizer. You should always be moisturizing your face every single day. You don't get soft baby skin smooth like this by not moisturizing, I can tell you that right now. And right here, I just mapped out my glasses and seeing where they end on my face when I wear them. Not really sure why I did that, but I did it. Now I'm going in with primer, and I'm mostly focusing on my eye area for right now and I'm gonna blend out my primer with a brush now I'm taking my concealer and we are going to prime my eyelids and the inner corner of my eye we're just gonna make sure that everything is nice and even and sticky for our eyeshadow once that concealer is blended out I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyeshadow I am first taking a really small crease brush and a red eyeshadow and we're just going to start drawing right where my brow would begin. I'm going to make my crease really high up today. Here I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just slightly blending out that red. Now back with the same pencil brush, I'm going in with a tad darker of a red. It has more of a brown tone to it. And I'm just going to deepen up closer to my eye, creating a shadow for my new crease. Now taking a fluffy blending brush again with no extra product and just blending these two shades together to create a perfect dark to light gradient. Now I'm going to start cutting my crease with concealer. I am making the shape of my crease into a semi-circle and I have so many videos of me cutting my crease. It's probably one of my favorite makeup styles. Then of course setting my cut crease with some compact powder and we're going to begin the rest of the eye. Putting down some scotch tape so that we can create a perfectly sharp wing. And of course, I'm going back with the same red shadows that I was using on the crease of my eye. I'm going in with the red, just dragging that out all the way to the end and all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Of course, blending this out with a fluffy brush so that it has a nice smoky effect. Now I'm going to take the darker red Actually, no, this is still me with the same red. I'm just deepening it up. Now here's me with the darker red, putting it over the original red just to deepen that up. Of course, blending out with a fluffy blending brush to make everything seamless. Now here's where I got a little crazy and I put some black right over those two red shades just for a nice transition for our eyeliner. Now here we are going in with our liner. We are lining from tip to tip. We are lining from the inner corner of our eye and creating a little wing there. And then we are just winging it out for the rest of the way. I forgot to press play, but I just put red dots. We're gonna start our stitching. I also did my eyebrows already off camera. That was very hard to do because they are very, very thin. And it's hard for me not to draw thick brows because I'm a thick girl, you know, so. Now I'm just trying to draw my little smile here. And I'm just using red eyeshadow on a pointed brush. Us original emos call this the Chelsea grin, but I'm just starting from my lower lip and dragging this liner, well this eyeshadow and this liner brush upwards to create a new smile. I might do red down here, but I'm not too sure. Right on the outer corners, only because it's already transferring because my lid shape, so might as well.
After vigorously putting on some red eyeshadow into that little open area, go ahead and blend that out with a blending brush. Back to the stitches. So for the stitches, you're gonna wanna create some dots first. I'm using red to, I don't know, I'm just using red. Um, I just think it looks the best and it makes it look more realistic. So go ahead and draw some little red dots. Now on a very small brush, I'm taking the second red shade that we used earlier and I'm just deepening up our wound. Now I'm taking some of my bronzer on an even smaller brush and we're just going to add some dimension to the outside of our wound, right in between our little holes and right outside of our wound. Now I'm going to highlight and this will really bring out your skin flaps. I'm highlighting with the same concealer that we used earlier and an even smaller brush and I'm just going in between our contour color and our dots going right along the wound, really opening up our skin flaps. Now deepening up our eyebrow dots with a darker red. This one is the one with the more brown shade in it. This is going to give us some depth, some dimension into our dots. Now I'm taking my Everyday Blush. This is a very rosy blush. It's literally called Rose by Ofra. And I'm just dotting right over our dots with this blush. It really makes your skin look irritated, like you really did just get sewn up with some stitches, you know, it's kind of the point. Now I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow on a liner brush. This shadow is almost black. This is going to act as a shadow for our stitches. It's going to make it look more realistic, like the stitches are really popping out of your face. So we're just going to go ahead and mimic some stitches right now. We're going to do some X stitches today. Now I'm taking some black liner on a very, very fine brush and just creating my actual stitches. Now I'm taking silver on the same brush and just highlighting my stitches to make them look more realistic. Usually I use silver for more of a staples look, like if I'm stapling my face, but I think it works for the stitches as well. Now I'm starting the rest of my face. I'm just finishing my eyes up. I'm just putting that first red eyeshadow that we used all over my cheek area and a little bit under my eyes, also connecting that to my wing. It's a really blushy look, made it look like I was crying, a little irritated, but still pretty. Next, I'm just watering, watering? I'm, I, what? I'm lining my waterline, now I'm doing mascara. Now I'm putting mascara all over my eyes. I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting mascara all on the underside of my eyes. Um, to really make it look like I've been through something, make it look like we're really emo, because we really are, you know, we're just like really, really emo, we just cry all the time. Now just applying some lashes. These are not my usual lashes, by the way, but they still worked. They still worked. They're from Amazon. Not the best, but they work. Now I'm just lining my lips with red lipstick. Not lining, I'm putting red lipstick on. And I'm taking the dark red from earlier and I'm just putting that on my lips to transition from the bright red to my stitches. Yeah, that's the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go down there, click the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.